Hi, I'm Steve Destante, and I'm here today with my friend Kevin Mon. Kevin, why do you think clients and advisors should consider impact for their portfolios? I think we need to start by understanding that the impact movement is a movement. It's very different from traditional socially responsible investing. If we look back 5, 10, 15 years ago, socially responsible investing just picked the companies in the portfolios based upon what they did or they didn't do. If they sold firearms, if they promoted tobacco, they weren't in the portfolio. But were the remaining companies in the portfolio actually positioned to perform and provide a positive return for that client's wallet? So the first thing we need to do as an industry is better educate clients, advisors, uh, and the investment public about what impact investing is in general. And what they'll find is that not only will they feel good about the companies that they're investing in, but they'll feel good about investing in them to help meet their longer term financial goals. Finally, one area that financial advisors may want to consider in this space, it's often been perceived that only the millennials, only the young, care about sustainable impact investment strategies. What we found at Smart Trust is first, that isn't true. You have to ask the right questions and educate your clients about what impact is, and you'd be surprised how many investors, young and old, are interested. Secondly, you have to prepare yourself for this great wealth transfer that is coming up. At some point in time, the baby boomers are going to be passing on this, this wealth onto the millennials. The millennials care about these types of investment strategies. So as Wayne Gretzky always used to say, skate to where the puck is going to be, not where the puck is right now. Financial advisors could take some credence in that as well. Kevin, could you tell us what goes into building an impact portfolio? Yes, and it, it's not as simple as it may seem. It, you know, historically, when you look at the old socially responsible strategy, Steve, it was very easy to build a portfolio. You just looked at certain companies that operated in a certain industry, had a certain percent of their revenue devoted to certain taboo areas, and you would exclude them from the portfolio. Sustainable impact is very different. It's much more comprehensive, and arguably it's much more complicated. At Smart Trust, with our Sustainable Impact Investing Trust, we looked at 60 different points of criteria by partnering with IW Financial. IW Financial, all they do is ESG ratings and research. That's it. They're not an investment manager. They don't make forward-looking outlooks or guidance calls on these underlying stocks. They look at the ESG merits of each individual company. They look at 60 different points of criteria across 14 different issue areas. You and I together couldn't do this type of research. They actually have to have interviews, phone calls, talk to the employees, talk to the management, talk to the board, look at public filings, looking at press releases to apply these rating criteria. Not simple to do. Then you need to marry that with somebody who actually can look at the underlying merits of the company, see if they're positioned to grow in terms of price over the life of the trust. The combination of those two factors is very, very powerful, but very few people can do both effectively. So there's a lot of uh, advisors who may go out into this space and think that they can build it on their own. Why take that time away from their valuable practice if there's another two proven people in this industry that can build that portfolio on your behalf? Kevin, can you talk a little bit about the confusion that people often encounter with impact and philanthropy? Yeah, uh, I think there's a lot of confusion ar around impact investing in ESG. Um, a lot of people just naturally assume that it's somehow charitable or some form of philanthropy to invest in this space. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to look at it that way. If you look at it from the standpoint that the companies that do these things better than others tend to perform better, well, then you're actually doing right by yourself and your clients by putting this type of strategy in your portfolio. You don't have to look at it as though somehow you're being charitable by investing in these type of strategies. You're doing the right thing for yourself and you're doing the right thing for your community if you build this type of approach into your practice.